Hey, welcome to Path Soundbites IGTV. Keeping music alive is what I do on the radio and now on video. Conducting live chats with the artists and learning the stories behind their latest release and also playing their new video. Special thanks to my friends Eric and Katie at Primary Wave Music for scheduling and coordinating today's artists. Primary Wave is one of the most dynamic private music publishing and talent management companies in the world with offices in New York City, Los Angeles, London, Austin, and Nashville. Primary Wave Music, motivated, forward-thinking, resourceful, driven, proactive executives protecting legacies and nurturing artists through every stage of their careers. To contact and get more information, you can email them at info at primarywave.com or you can call the New York City office at 212-661-6990 or the Los Angeles office at 424-239-1200. Special thanks today to my sponsor, GoGo Tuners, for all guitar players looking for a focus on ease of use readability, durability, and accuracy, look no further. The GoGo Tuner is the choice of many touring professionals and a favorite of casual players. GoGo's signature green ear in and red ear out screen makes tuning quick and easy. For more information, go to the website at gogotuners.com. Special thanks to WBXO Classic Rock Radio Redefine, allowing me to keep new music alive on the radio airways on the Pat Show every Sunday from 5 to 8 Eastern Standard Time. Only on WBXO Classic Rock Redefined. And a big thank you to Mr. Evan Balzer for allowing me to use his amazing instrumental that you're hearing right now. It's called Trails. To find out more incredible music by Evan, go to his website at evanbolzer.com. Today's guest, well, she's the power vocalist of the legendary band Jefferson Starship. That's Kathy Richardson. Jefferson Starship releasing a new album, Mother of the Sun, comes out August 21st. And her new single, It's About Time. We're going to talk to Kathy about the album, about the single, and a whole lot more right here at Pat Soundbites IGTV. Hey, live on Pat's, yeah, Pat's IGTV. I got so much crap going on. Pat's <laughs> IGTV, keeping the music alive on the radio and on video. Super excited <laughs> to have this woman in the house. We're talking singer songwriter Kathy Richardson from Jefferson Starship. <laughs> hey, how, are you? how you doing? Good. Oh, geez. All right, all right. I gotta take a poll. It's gotta calm down. <laughs> it's all good. The Starship has lifted twelve yes. years, ascending, ascending, rocket boosted, <laughs> blowing up. Mother in the Sun album EP called What You Want, August twenty first, Golden Robot Records. And yeah, that's I the that's it. our international uh, label in in the United States. It's Secret Knock Records, which is our our own uh, Your vanity own label. label. Ah, <laughs> so buddy. But it is about time, and the guy yes. keeping new music alive. Congratulations! I love it. I love it. I love it. I've been playing it for I don't know the last three or four weeks, getting great great feedback. It's awesome. got to be. Uh, a boost of refresh energy for all of you guys going, what were we waiting for? <laughs> Come yeah. on. Well, ironically, that's the name of the second song. What are we waiting for? What are we no, waiting we've, for? We've been saying this for years. What are we waiting for? We got, it's about time we put out a record. So now and there you have it. Now that, that was our inspiration. <laughs> and it's funny because you guys have been playing. What are we waiting for? For the yeah. last two or three shows that I've seen yet. Yeah, I mean, we've been I'm playing it for a couple of years. That song. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that's kind of a tribute to Paul. Yeah, definitely. Somewhat. Because, uh, well, it start well, it started out. We the first day we got together to write, and we thought, let's just get in a room and and just start jamming and 
you know, record, hit record. So Donnie starts playing this drum groove. I start playing these chords and Donnie starts singing. He, he starts saying Paulisms. What are we waiting for? You know, like, surge, you know, and all this stuff. And then he starts singing, what are we waiting for? And then I was going, what are we waiting for? And then we all start harmonizing. And then that song was like, it came out of that. So we definitely want, we wanted Paul's spirit to influence the record. And I have to show you this album art because I'm just geeking out on it. It's so cool. Hang on. I yeah, yeah, it. go. Um, all right. Well, I, I don't have it all here. Maybe I'm going to keep it out of the, the frame so you can't see it. Let me just fold it back up here. I know there's merchandise, the, uh, the bundles available to get everybody yeah. to go to jeffersonstarship.com. It's a cool box. It's a tote bag. It's the album. It's the CD, all kinds of neat stuff that I want to, to certainly promote. Look at that. Right. So this is the, this is the packaging that we're calling the space box. Okay. The specialty packaging. Yeah. Uh, on, on the cover is my son, Hendrix. He's birthday a, guy uh, just the other day. Yeah. He, he did have a birthday this summer. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's playing with the wooden ships on the sea of stars with the uh, Cassiopeia uh, constellation there and Cassiopeia one of her names is Mother of the Sun and the Moon. So the, the album title is based on Cassiopeia now. So I'm opening, it, it unfolds like this, like, like an envelope. And here's nice. the CD on top. Then we open like this. And then, boom, it's wow. a box. It's the space box. And the it's got space this box. gorgeous art, original artwork that was, you know, made custom for our um our package by a young artist named nicholas moeller great job. and uh he's he uses the cassiopeia nebula and constellation and all of these pieces and uh so inside the box you have the cd that's stuck to the top here you've got the lyric book and an empty fully functional box i don't know what you might want to put in there but you can and you just put it on your desk and have a beautiful oh art. no you put kathy richardson guitar <laughs> picks <laughs> all the things you put yeah. another cd that i got called the macro dots number two yeah. Yeah. and out of all the tracks i gotta tell you kathy peaceful protest i know we're not man. talking about something relevant today i about, know it's about that time and, and women maybe taking you know charge it, yes, it, we for the next overdue. 400 years. We just want 400 years, Pat, and then we, we'll check back <laughs> in and see how we're doing. <laughs> but I thought about, <laughs> I've been playing down, well, since I met you and got the CD, and the first thing that came to mind when I heard about this coming out and listening to the tracks was peaceful protest. Wow, if yeah. you could have just snuck that one into you know, the... I, You know, that song has been around for a while. And I actually, you know, back when Paul was alive, I pitched it to the band, but we just weren't in a mode of making new music. And, you know, so, but I, I, I thought that would be a great Jefferson Starship song and maybe, maybe someday it will be, but uh, yeah, for now it's, it's the macro dots and you can get it for free. I think on SoundCloud, I don't even think we're selling it. <laughs> well, it's, I'm happy you got me a copy because maybe oh, I'm thanks. the only guy in a radio station in New York playing down in peaceful protest. <laughs> it, awesome. it, it resonated oh, say, with me. You can buy a CD from me directly on my website. So, but I, I, as far as downloading it, I think you, you have to go to SoundCloud. So but how thank you. cool is you now with Starship 13 years, mm -hmm. you replace the iconic Grace, uh, Grace Slick, and then all of a sudden you're writing a song with her. How many yeah. people can say that? I, well, it's a trip, I gotta tell you that. Um, you get you can see her over, yeah, I know over she's my shoulder us. here, she's watching with her eyes. Um, yeah, I actually bought that from her at, in Hawaii at a an art I was on vacation and there's a gallery there called like 
rock star art or something like that. And all, a lot of these rock stars end up painting <laughs> like, and they're really good, you know? And uh, so it's like a sandwich board on the so sidewalk. Gray slick today. And I look in and I'm like, oh my God, there she is. So I was like, I have to meet her. But I, I was very intimidated, very like, I, you know, I don't want to bother her. You know, it's so funny because I'm such a regular person and I don't know why I think that other musicians just because they're famous are somehow un, un, like not a human being, but that's how I felt around her. And then, so I bought that painting and, um, you know, she was like, uh, you know, thank you very much. And that was it. And then the next year I was like, God, I wish I would have, she seemed, you know, I started talking to other people. I shouldn't, not, I shouldn't have been so freaked out. And, and the next year she was there, I was there again. And I was with friends and they said, Hey, this, they bought a painting from her and they said, this is Kat, our friend, Kathy. She's a singer and she sings Janis Joplin. Cause I was uh, doing love Janis, the Janis Joplin show at the time. And she goes, Oh, you must be a blues singer. And I was like, well, kind of, you know, I do, I sing a lot of, I consider myself a rock singer, but blues absolutely. Kind of. So we start talking about music. We start talking about singing. I, you know, I'm asking her questions. She's telling, giving me a like music business advice. It was, and then I'm like, she was so funny. She swore like a trucker. She kept apologizing. <laughs> I'm like, please don't. And uh, I'm like, this is exactly, you know, this is exactly like the, the coolest conversation. So I, I, but I really weirdly walked away from that conversation with, and I said out loud, I, I wrote it in my journal. I still have it to this day. I have the weird, I had the weirdest feeling talking to her. Like I was talking to some future version of myself. And I'm what, all I meant by that was she reminds me of me. And I think that's exactly how I'm going to be when I get older, but I had no idea like the older version of myself that, I, and in a few years I would be standing there wow. in her shoes, you know, and, uh, and then getting to hang out with her more. And I, I loved, um, all I've loved all my time talking to Grace. Like it, it is so cool to talk to her and talk about music and singing and being a woman and politics and all the things she's very, um, uh, the times I've hung out with her, she's very engaging and, uh, and fun. And, and, and you guys open, right? Your big brother holding, you, you open first, was it Starship or airplane? And she got to yeah. see you sing. I mean, she came, no, she came to a Jefferson Starship show when I okay. had been in the band for many years already. Um, and she, but she actually, she watched us on TV early on when I first joined the band, we did um, something live. We played live with a, a youth orchestra on, um, it later turned out to be Axis TV, but whatever it was called at the time, very bold of us to play live. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, it was, I mean, like, meaning it wasn't, filmed it they, like they broadcast it as we were playing it and grace was at home watching it and china her daughter was texting paul mom's watching mom loves kathy and and paul's telling me this and i'm like oh my god like just the <laughs> thought that she was watching me sing on television it was just like the craziest thing but yes then she did years later come to a show she sat right in the front row Oh my! And then people started recognizing her and bugging, bugging her, and so she had to leave. But uh, she she wrote us all, each individual band member. She wrote a nice note to each of us, a, a little paragraph about what she enjoyed about what each of us had done. It was very sweet. I remember when we talked the first time. I think it was like a Grammy lifetime achievement. She couldn't. She didn't. She showed up to help receive the, the, the award for the airplane. But she had you sing. Yeah. And I, wanted, I remember you saying, she like leaned next to you and said, hey, we're doing like somebody love. You know this one, right? And you said <laughs> like, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, of course I was there to sing, but like right. uh, she she was sitting backstage, you know, and and she goes, and they're introducing the band and, and she says, you know this one, right? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got this one. I'll I'll be right back. <laughs> but uh, she, you know, you really wish that 
someone would be out in the audience listening because you can't hear anything on the side of the stage. Like right. it's, you know, stage monitors are right in front of the, you know, the singer. So your, your, your voice isn't being amplified anywhere. So I, I would rather people watch me from the front of the house than from the side stage. But I understand, you know, sometimes you got to, you, you're Grace Slick, you got to be backstage and you got to be in contact. Yeah, no, no, it's a, it's a lot different, I'm sure, for her to even try to go to a grocery store without a baseball cap and 100 people driving her crazy. These tracks, Kathy, are killers, and I know you're co-written on a, a handful. I love Run, Run Away Again. I thought mm -hmm. maybe it was like Run Away of the Airplane, but certainly a totally different track. Yeah. Setting Sun, is that David saying Setting Sun yes. and Don't Be Sad Anymore? Yes. Wow. I mean, David, yeah. he's only like 80 years young. Yeah. That sounds terrific. I'm I like, know. He's he's amazing. I'm like, wow. And then we talked about uh, what are we what are we waiting for? I mm -hmm. mean, it's all really, really cool stuff. I mean, this is like a whole breath of fresh air for you guys. I'm sure it's like driving you crazy to get back on stage and help promote this thing and get right. the rocket out there. Right, exactly. Yeah, it would be very helpful uh, to, <laughs> to be on the road. But in lieu of that, I'm just glad that we have something to do, like with these releasing the, the music and the kind of slow rollout. We're like, we're just chomping at the bit. We've had this stuff sitting there in, you know, waiting. And what we've been waiting for this like CD packaging and everything to, to be finished. And it's been, you know, it's just like a giant undertaking. And there's so many plates spinning and, and, um, Everything has to be perfectly coordinated. You don't want to put it out too fast. You got to right. get all of your promotions in place and your your plan and everything. You know, I've been an indie uh, musician, as you know, for many years. I put out a lot of records by myself, and you know, you have to really you have to have a strategy. Otherwise, you're just like the tree falling in the forest that no one ever hears because there's seven thousand uh, releases this week, you know, <laughs> or whatever. There's a guy keeping new music alive, and I get ten yeah. CDs a week. Yeah, and the folks are like, my hardest problem I have is just trying to find the time to listen to all the tracks and right. trying to play at least one track for the artist to get it out there. But uh, no, right. you guys kill it. I remember, you know, I'm, we're doing a Zoom thing anymore now. Every day I'm doing a Zoom with somebody and I'm thinking about you today and I'm like, I remember Kathy doing Project 365. I mean, you're yeah. the queen of video. You were <laughs> every day, another track. And I'm yeah. like, look at her go. Yeah. Like, you had to do something to keep relevant, right? Nope. To make yeah. sure people knew who you were and get right. out there. Yeah, and like, what the? I, what do I have to lose? I, although I, it was many, many, many hours of my life. <laughs> no, <laughs> but, I remember. But it really helped me grow as a musician. And I, you know, my whole career growing up, I ne I was never one of those people who sat there and played two hundred covers a night. You know, I, I always played my own originals, and I would play some covers because I was in bars and I had to to like, you know, sustain a living. <laughs> but like, I I always wanted to be an artist. And I didn't even realize how what I was missing out on by playing, by learning all those other songs because it just sharpens your your musical skills. It sharpens your ear because I play by ear. When I I've listened to all these songs for years and years, I never even thought about how to play them. And so it, it's it's helped my my ear playing because I kind of know now. Oh, this is where this that that's where, where they're going with goes. it. Yeah. And um, so it's, it's been a really, really fun thing. And now I feel like if I, if I have a chart and I, it's not like extraordinarily difficult, it's a, a rock or pop song, I can just sit down and play it, you know? So that's, that's fun. Nah, good for you. And, and how do you take care of those wonderful vocals of yours, my dear? I mean, these <sighs> songs are not easy to do. It's about time or do somebody to love and, uh, I mean, I, all the Janice stuff. It's not a. It's not a an easy walk through the park. No, and I I found really like I think it's just really terrible to to the, for for my voice to not be singing every week because it is like a muscle you have to exercise. It's definitely like a, you use it or you lose it thing. That's why I think David sings so great at age eighty one because he never God stopped. Bless him. Yeah, and so he, his voice is strong because he exercises it. So I, you know, I've been singing a little bit, but not nearly as much as I 
used to and I'm finding my my uh, stamina is is getting a little uh you know it's getting less and I'm getting tired more easily my my fingers get tired playing guitar and and I'm like wow you have to really you have to keep exercising the muscles so I I'm trying to play some gigs wherever I can but you know there's just no live music and doing it on the zoom call is just nothing like it's the the sound you can't control I mean it's so I'm trying and, and, to learn and, how to deal with it, but it's hard. And, if, and to get the energy back from the crowd. I mm -hmm. mean, I'm, I'm trying to wrap my head around, do I really want to go to a drive-in, park my car, and sit in a lawn seat? I'm so used to, you know, hanging out with you guys. You guys are so accommodating. After yeah. the show, you come out, you hang out with everybody. And I yeah. can't imagine what we're, what we're leading to down the road all i want is the people wear their damn masks yeah so we can on, get people mask it up. this we're yes. all in this together i mean yeah i love your video wash your hands that was cool <laughs> thank you and jim peterick i mean come on the purple hair comeback yeah. story everybody loves a comeback story that yeah. was pretty cool yeah yeah maybe it may have been a little too soon <laughs> yeah, just so. Yeah. But it was, it was a, you know, it's a great thought that we can come back from this, but everybody does literally have to do their part, putting masks on and not being, you know, branch COVIDians about this. We've got, uh, it's a pandemic. <laughs> it's not political. It doesn't care Hello. Who, who you voted for. It doesn't care how brave you are. It, it, that's not what it's about. It's, it drives me crazy to go out and uh, I just see somebody and I go, okay, I'm just, just shut your mouth, Pat. Just, you know, right. like, don't, don't. But you, your thoughts on your first back live show with a real audience. It's got to be emotional to see mm -hmm. the band, to see the crew, mm -hmm. to go back. I mean, we took it for granted, right? I mean, I'm not a musician. Yeah. I'm just oh, saying my. from my side going to shows. I mean, my last show was like February 15th. And now yeah. I look at all the pictures and meeting folks like yourself and I go, wow, talk about, we took it for, I don't want to say take it for granted, but I don't know if it's ever going to be that way, but I'm sure for you, yeah. the emotions, right? To get on that first stage and go. Yeah. Yeah. I actually, I, I played, um, I do this monthly storytelling night in, in where I live here in the, this club Fitzgerald's in Berwyn. It's sort of my home base. Like, um, been doing this for almost eight years. We once a month, where storytellers come in, they tell a story in the theme of a song title. I start. I play the song, then they come up and tell their stories, and I listen in the audience, and then I come up with a song based on their story, and I jump wow. up and play it, which also, you know, it helps. You know, that really helped me with 365 of just jumping up and reading a chart and just playing a song, whether I really knew it or not and i still like i still will just jump off the cliff i'm like i don't know the bridge and then i'll get to the bridge and i'll just make something up and people laugh and it's really really fun um so we had our first show back since february or whenever march i think was the last one and um and there was 50 people they had you know it's a place that can hold 400 people but they had 50 and they were very spread apart everybody had masks on the whole time and uh, the when I came out on stage, I mean, just the energy of the people that were there, it didn't seem like a lot of people, but it felt like it might as well have been packed. They, their like energy, they, I did start to cry. I did get choked up. I was like, oh my God, I don't, I can't even tell you. I didn't even know how much I missed that sound and that feeling of people cheering for you. I mean, it's like, it's really addicting, you know? So <laughs> that's, I think why like people never ever want to give up once, once they've got that, they don't want to retire. Let's keep no. doing this till I'm 80, man. No, so absolutely. <laughs> I mean, and that's what you, that's what an artist does. You yeah. create, I mean, I mm. found a niche. I just felt like there's nobody doing new music and it was driving me crazy. I could play all the classics, but then when I found this niche, it opened the door because uh -huh. every artist I talked to, is putting out something and they're thanking me. I'm like, yeah. are you kidding me? No, you're <laughs> playing it. Thank you. Thank you. So, no, it's all cool. I see uh, Melissa Etheridge Cruz is yeah. lined up for November of 2021. I yeah. mean, I, I just pray that we uh, get the guy, get you guys back on the road and over here in the Northeast so we can uh, 
see you guys and uh, fist pump you, yeah, high five, scream and shout. I love Hello, bump. You probably, yeah, there we go. I love the uh, I love the album officially comes out August twenty first. I love the two videos you did the two right. You did oh, a lyric yeah, yeah. one and then the yeah. I did actually. We did. We have two videos for every song. We've got lyric videos and and music videos. And I'm the the music videos we all shot in one or two days in the same set, and it was a it's like a warehouse with giant video screens. So we first sat down and went through a bunch of like stock footage to find the, the backgrounds that we wanted behind us on the screen. So it's about time. It was like, you know, it was all, a lot of pink. Yeah, we got the clock. It's a lot of pink. It's a lot of um, images of women, strong women. And um, so after, and, and then um, Setting Sun, David's song is, kind of a cowboy song um i was gonna the, say in, that was my notes it had a cowboy it had a country vibe and a, a more of a cowboy theme yeah in the in the quick silver messenger service vein a little, yes. more, a little, more so than than uh uh nashville you know it's like it's like it's definitely that was the vibe that was yes. like what we were going for um and so that one we have just a lot it, that you know a lot of deserts and, and orange and 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 then I edited that one um, as a split screen video go figure I, I didn't I thought I was being so like you know retro and cutting edge at the same time and meanwhile now everything is a split screen video <laughs> but whatever uh, so we did that one split screen and then the, the what are we waiting for we have a lot of space images and that one tells the whole story too but um, it's one shot. So the camera just moves in one shot, no cuts throughout. The, and so we, we wow. use the same set, but they all have a completely different look and feel, which I, I was pretty proud that we achieved that. And now that goes to our uh, credit goes to our director, Greg Bizarro. And yes, that's his real name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because, you know, we, we wanted them to be different. We wanted them to all tell a story, but we all, we had just, this is what we had to work with, this warehouse and these screens. And as it turns out, it was quite a lot to work with. But anyway, all the background videos have been made into lyric videos now. So. I think it's, a, you, you know better than I do is how important of, we live in such a visual world anymore. And as I said before, you're the queen of, of video. The, <laughs> the video can go viral and nobody even knows about the song, the album or anything right. anymore. So it is very important. Well, I am glad to have this opportunity to chat with you, Kathy. Thank you um, so much, Pat. It, it's it's a, always a blast. Starship is alive <laughs> and well. The adventurous musical drive and spirit continues to propel as it did with Airplane in Surge. the 70s. And Starship <laughs> now in the 80s and the 90s and the 200s. Much success, my dear. I'm going to continue to play it. Uh, awesome. Any other, anything else that I can help promote with you? I tell all the listeners, certainly go to uh, JeffersonStarship.com. Uh, go to the store. Check out the cool merchandise bundle. There's a bunch yeah, of them. The space I love box. the box. The box, box is really cool. <laughs> and anything else Thanks. that you're working on? Uh, uh, no, just promote? go to our website. Go, go on our social media. We have all the things, the Facebook, the Instagram, the YouTube channel. And, uh, we'll, you know, get on our mailing list. I don't know. We, just all the things. Just find us out there. Google us. Jefferson Starship lives. And next time we we'll get you to do a song or two. Absolutely. I'd love to. Okay. Love you, Kathy. All right. My love best you, Pat. Guys. Thank you. Okay, hon. Thank All you. All right. Bye Take now. care, hon. Bye-bye.